What up, players? Warboss here for this mod, doing a quick video about orcs. Some of you might have seen on my Warboss Today's May Painting Challenge April Bootcamp video, I had a ton of orcs on the table. The fact was, 87 orc boys. I've also got a bunch of Ludas and a bunch of uh, commandos using, I think it's Cromlech pieces for the heads, the gas masks and stuff. They look really good. The client really went all out for this army. So he wanted to do all of his boys, his 87 boys, at a war boss standard. And his Luda, in, his Ludas, commandos, and I think the war bosses at the higher war master level. So I just wanted to show you what I did with the both of them. And he gave me a color scheme. So this isn't my color scheme, it's the one that he was working with. His test models are here. I'd like to show those off first, maybe. There are two knobs that I think are done pretty well. The color scheme for the skin is nice and understated. I think if you remember some of my old orc videos, I love the bright radioactive cartoony green. I used to. And as I've gotten older and my style has changed a bit, I, I'm really drawing more towards this muted, dirty kind of um, realistic pea green for the orc skin. So it's not as bright and cartoony, which I, I think maybe orcs and goblins would fit, but um, for, for my 40k orcs, I'm glad the client went with this because I'm, I'm going to be really happy painting them. And the yellow is basically Averlin Sunset shaded with, I think, a, it looks like a sepia tone. And then highlighted back up, he's added some, some awesome armor chips, which I haven't done yet. And um, yeah, it looks really good. So that's the models that the client provided as a color reference. And here, let me show you what I was able to get up with. This is a war boss standard, which means basically uh, base coats, washes, and uh, highlights, one or two highlights, depending on how much you want the model to stick out. And the client said he wanted just a basic looking um, good quality tabletop standard. So what I decided, and uh, maybe I'll do a, a future video on this for like a war boss take five, is that when you are using your clan colors for orcs, for example, the bad moons are yellow, the evil suns are red, um, that kind of thing, death skulls are blue, you want to not overload the model with it. I think you, you're using it as spot colors. If I painted his pants in yellow and his shirt in yellow. He'd look like uh, the bride or, or Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. You don't, as awesome as that is, you don't want 87 goth boys running around looking like little little bananas. So I decided to do the tabards, any um, gauntlets or gloves or, or wrist bracers and little bits of the weapons. So for here it's the, the chain blade casing and some plates on the bolt pistol. And it kind of balances out because you see what it does is it creates like a reverse triangle where you're looking at the orc and you see, okay, he's got a brown shirt, he's got black pants, brown boots, and that's, you know, that's fine, that's whatever. But you see your eyes kind of draw like this upside down triangle where the points of focus are the yellow. I did some, some really simple flames on his tabard, highlighted it up with evil, evil suns. No, flash gets yellow. So there's him. And then for the warm master level guy, I went a little bit more crazy. I highlighted up the skin a little bit more added in some, some beige tones to the skin. I decided for the War Master guys, and for the Evil Suns in general, I'm gonna use red as the spot color. So even though yellow is the bright accent color, the spot color that you're only gonna see in a few spots is gonna be red. So um, that's, that's kind of my idea. That's, that's what I'm thinking to do. I'll show you guys more when I have some more to, uh, to show, I guess. Thanks for watching.